I want to bring in CNN senior media correspondent Brian Stelter, host of Reliable Sources, as well as Alex Castellanos, who's a Republican strategist and founder of NewRepublican.com. Brian, first to you. Um, bad strategic move by Donald Trump to skip that debate? Certainly Fox News says so. The commentators have been united against uh, Trump on that point. I spoke to a senior Rubio aide just now who says they believe Trump not being on that stage last week did help Rubio, gave him more talk time, for example, to make a closing argument. The conventional wisdom after the debate was that Trump had won by not being there. And we were all citing data from Twitter and Facebook showing Trump was the most talked about candidate. Well, being talked about is not always a good thing. There's news and then there's good news. That might have been bad news for Trump. Certainly, a lot of the talk was negative, and some people were motivated to vote against Trump. Some people, I think, we, we see these high turnout numbers on the GOP side. They were going to the caucuses, particularly to vote against Trump. But I do think there's been an overreaction, an overcorrection in some of the coverage today. I'm hearing a lot of anti-Trump coverage, even though we know he's the favorite to win in New Hampshire and in other states. You know, since you just said that, let's just go ahead and put those New Hampshire, uh, I think we have the poll of polls numbers. Yeah, they're uh, striking. Unbelievable. Let's all remember this, folks. If you're basking in the glory of Donald Trump losing by by four points last and some night. people are uh, we got Trump at 31 percent and Cruz at 13 That's now we'll see Hampshire. how much that can change in the next few days we'll see right. how much it Rubio might. and Cruz can uh, can take advantage of this but I just looked at the early early ratings for last night's coverage actually these were the highest rated caucuses in many years probably ever why because people wanted to see if Donald Trump could be beaten. My kids I think people were, were tuning in for that reason. They're eight exactly. and ten years old. My kid even sketched all the candidates. He's so fascinated. So certainly, by them. air it's has amazing. been punctured out of the balloon, right? This has been a, a tough moment for Trump, and we see him tweeting. But I think it's dangerous to overreact to it yeah. and go too critical about Trump, given all the challenges he faced in Iowa. And I think Alex, you might be able to weigh in on this. The notion that Donald Trump may have thought he was bigger than the process by skipping that debate. Mm. Uh, he may be chastened by what's happened last night. But I wonder if it's if it's the Machine. Did Donald Trump think that he was bigger than the machine, that his celebrity, that his prowess, his momentum was bigger than the machine? Because Cruz had that machine fine-tuned. Will Donald Trump start looking at New Hampshire, even with that massive lead, and start fine-tuning that voter machine? I'm not sure Donald Trump has that great a voter machine. I think you've hit on the, on the big difference. Uh, Ted Cruz is a product that fewer people like, looking at the surveys, but he had a better sales force, ground game. Donald Trump is a product that more people liked, but he didn't have the sales force. And I think in a small state, in a small caucus state, give Ted Cruz credit, he, he maximized what he could do. New Hampshire doesn't fit Ted Cruz that well. Organization is less Im significant than media in a state like New Hampshire. Independents can move, vote in both Republican and Democrat. So I think this gets harder for Ted Cruz. I think you're right not to underestimate Trump. And by the way, I don't think the Fox uh, debate hurt him at all. The reason we put candidates in these debates is to test their strength against each other. We put them in a pit like gladiators to see who's the strongest. Well, get, guess what? The strongest force in Republican politics is Fox News. Donald yeah. Trump took them on. He demonstrated well, I strength. I don't think that'll hurt him in New Hampshire and, at all. And still thing. came in second place. I can tell you one thing that yeah. did not happen in New Hampshire. There's no <laughs> soundbite out there saying, how stupid are the voters of New Hampshire? That is not on television right now, and I guarantee point. you it will not be on television. I don't think Trump's going to be doing that anytime soon. Mm. Hey, i got to stop it there, guys. But uh, Brian, thank you for that. Thanks. Alex Castellanos, we'll see you in a little bit.